Hey, there you are. Okay, so just a heads up. I ordered this off of Musician's Friend in 2023. Um, it was supposed to be delivered based off of UPS. UPS kept sending me emails saying it will be delivered on Friday, and it wasn't. It actually came in Monday, so they missed the weekend, which kind of bummed me out because I was really hoping to get this on Friday. Um, and So it's a Fernandez, or at least that's what it was advertised as, a Fernandez, and uh, you know from the old Velvet Revolver days. Uh, the only thing I was kind of complaining about when I talked to them earlier was this chip because I couldn't find the pictures online of what it looked like. Because when I buy stuff online, I'm always really diligent to do my homework of where's all the scratches and dings and dents. I know it's used. I know it's been loved. But where where, where are they and can I live with them kind of thing. And in this case, I couldn't remember seeing that. Well, musician's friend, when you buy it online, they'll take the site down. So you can't go back and look at the pictures. To see what it is well what if you missed anything so after i went back and forth with the salesperson the only result they were going to give me was well full refund you got to send it back to us so great shipping another week and wait for my money to come back i said i'll take it as buyer beware then i went back online something just said take a look again because something just didn't feel right about this guitar as i'm looking at it and i'm going ah, you know and I, I, you know the color was really cool and that's why i picked it out more than anything else but then i'm looking at it and i'm going where's the logo because all companies brand their guitars with a headstock logo. Something's not right with that. Where's the serial number that should be back here? There's no serial number. Then I'm starting to look at it. So I go online and start looking, and I do a search, and what comes up is Fernandez Copy, and this thing comes up. Someone had one in Illinois that they were selling, and that's when I really took a good look at it and noticed, oh, they got the Gibson inlays on this. This is not a Fernandez guitar. This is a knockoff of somebody's. Now, granted, it feels good. It it plays good, but for the amount, and I think the net was changed on this as well too. Someone put a different uh, locking or not locking a uh, truss rod cover on it. But it, I don't know. It was just like it feels good. It plays good. It's got a nice weight to it. I like heavy guitars. It's a heavier guitar. I seem to remember the Fernandez ones being light for some reason. I don't know why. The only one I ever experienced was 10 years ago. And, uh, no, it, it, again, I just liked it for that part of it. But for what I paid for it, for a used one, was on the low end of it. But at the same time, for what a copy was going for, was even less than that. So I couldn't justify keeping this. So it's got to go back to Musician's Friend. And they're going to have to brand it as a copy, not a real Fernandez. Now, I tuned it up with the strings that were on it. As you can see, they, I don't do this kind of tuning thing with my strings. That, that is a pet peeve of mine. But, uh, it, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to turn this down to uh, a uh, clean version. Here, let's see if we can find something. There, uh, there we go. sounds nice it sounds nice but not for that kind of money doesn't sound that nice but uh yeah so it's going back uh again the only result you know, resolution i have from them was it's got to go back to get a full refund i can't take a guitar center even though musicians friend and guitar center are kind of tied together um if you know more of the politics on it than i do so be it uh yeah, again, I'm just disappointed and sad with it, really. I mean, between the shipping company telling me that it was supposed to be here on the 16th and it didn't show up till the 19th, that that was disappointing, and it was UPS. I got the email saying, it'll be here on the 16th, it'll be here on the 16th, and here it is the 19th, and yay, it shows up today. Thanks a lot. And then, uh, and then the fact that, you know, I didn't know enough about these guitars that if I would have seen this, I know them well enough to know that the inlays were not right. That should have been a dead giveaway for me, but I didn't catch that. So, it's but it's not a real one, and I'm not going to pay full price for. I'm not going to pay a used price for a real one for a copy. So, 
that said, it's got to go back unless they work out a deal with me, but I seriously doubt it. So be careful out there when you're buying this stuff. And like I said, when you're dealing with musicians' friend, no hate on them. It's just that when you buy something from them from their site, if you don't save those pictures or that link, it it will they they take that down automatically. So you'll have no way of back checking your photos and the images and say, well, was there this? Was there that? And again, the same thing applies to you know things to watch out for. I mean, this should be 101 stuff. No no company logo on the headstock. That should have been a big warning sign to me, red flag right there. But I was too obsessed with this and the price, uh, this color and the price. And the other part of it was then after I started looking at the finer details, the, the inlays. The inlays are nothing like this. They're more of a true trapezoid. So with the, they're like two pieces each, but the, it almost looks like a V next to a trapezoid. So you have to look at that. They also have a different truss rod cover on it as well and this one isn't the one that came with this copy um and again the pickup rings on the other one that i saw were ma matched but was on here as well as the poker chip whereas none of this matches so it tells me there's this has been again it's used okay it's used i can't bad mouth a company on it except that the company that deals in guitars and instruments should really know the difference between a real one and a fake one more than the buyer so or a copy of one so that said, it's going to go back. Thank you for watching. And be careful out there, okay? Hopefully I'll get another one. I'll get a chance at a decent one. All right. Bye.